Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Alright guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here, and today's video is going to answer a question that I've asked a lot of times, and it's something I've really only recently become aware of, and the question is, what is the optimal training frequency for natural lifters? So we're talking about someone who's not on steroids, who is not on pro-hormones, who is a lifetime natural basically, someone who is relying on their own testosterone level, their own body, their hormones aren't jacked up by anything else. Talking about the most optimal training frequency uh, for natural lifters. So by that, what I mean is most optimal being how often do you want to train a particular muscle group each week for the best gains possible. And we're talking about being in a surplus, so we're talking about building muscle right now. First of all, you have to be in a caloric surplus. You're going to need your protein to be on point. You're going to need enough carbs to make yourself anabolic. You're going to need to train fucking hard too. But apart from that, we're gonna be talking about actually how often you wanna train. So up until recently, you know, I've always stuck to the bro split. And you know, the more I look into it, the more I, I realize that that's sort of more suited towards someone who can just blast the shit out of one muscle group each day and repeat that each week. And, and, and what I've found with, you know, looking at a lot of forums, a lot of studies, is that when you're natural and you're relying on your natural testosterone levels, Protein synthesis actually, you know, pretty much stops after around about 48 hours after training that muscle. So if you think about it like that, you train your biceps on a Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, they're, they're effectively going to be growing. By Thursday, that process of protein synthesis will have pretty much stopped and you're free to go and hit the muscle again. So let's talk about concrete numbers here when it comes to optimal training frequency. I would say as long as you give 48 hours between hitting that muscle group again, you should be fine. And what that means is that you can actually hit each muscle group three times in a week and you know recover well enough to continue your gains and, and have op optimal gains. But personally, I'm not going to be hitting each muscle group three times a week. I'm a natural lifter and two times a week to hit each muscle group is, is tough by itself. So I think three times a week is, is a bit far-fetched, it's a bit much. So we're going to throw that out, but what I am going to say is twice a week will put you in great stead to make some natural gains. How you structure your workout routine to make that happen is up to you. What I like to do is a push-pull leg split. So obviously, you, I used to do you know biceps one day, chest one day, back one day, legs one day, shoulders one day, and basically repeat. But that wasn't going to be optimal. The more I read, the more I realized that after 48 hours, uh, you're going to stop growing. So you don't want to leave you know, that muscle group another three, four, five days without growing before you hit it again. I mean, it's not optimal. We're talking about the optimal you know, frequency right here. So what I would say is, for example, I'd do uh, a Monday. I'd go pull, which is back, rear delts, and biceps. So you've got back movements, you've got rear delt movements, and you've got bicep movements. From there, I'd like to do a push workout on Tuesday, which is going to be chest, it's going to be shoulder work, and it's going to be tricep work. So that's a push day, you've got pull, push, and then I'll go legs, which is obviously, you know, whatever your leg day is going to be. Usually I like to do three to four exercises, targeting both the quads and the hamstrings. If I want to do calves, I'll do that too. But what you've got is basically every single muscle group hit in three days. It's up to you whether you take a rest day and then hit the three workouts again on you know your Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then you take another rest day and then start again on Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You can continue going through like that. What I tend to do is hit two three-day lots. So I'll go pull, push, leg, pull, push, legs, and then have a day off. And that's the entire week. And then I'll do it again. So I train six days a week. I hit each muscle group twice a week and I have one rest day. And that is the optimal way to train as a natural lifter, I do believe. Whether you do legs, push, pull, you do push, legs, pull, pull, push, legs, it, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. I tend to want to make sure my back workout is actually after my leg workout rather than before, because if I go really hard on a back workout, um, do some deadlifts or something like that, you know, that, that tightness in my back is, go, is really going to limit my movement when I go and do something like a squat. So it's up to you how, how you structure days 
one after another. But yeah, as far as you know, hitting each muscle group twice a week and also having a rest day in there, that would, would have to be the most optimal way uh, to train as a natural lifter. That is the most optimal frequency as a natural lifter. So that would be my advice, guys. Push, pull, legs. Um, you don't have to do that, obviously. You can, fuck, if you, if you want to train twice a day, six days a week, then you could split it up still and do you know, chest in the morning, back at night. You could do shoulders in the morning, arms at night. You could do legs in the morning, freaking abs and calves at night and, and keep going through like that. But personally, I really can only you know, get enough time to get in the gym once a day at most. And what this actually allows you to do is, is hit a little less volume on each muscle group because so you're hitting it twice a week. You could go heavy in the first three workouts of the week and then go a bit lighter in the second three workouts. Um, you know, it's, it's completely up to you. But I would say that because protein synthesis naturally, you know, tapers off after about 48 hours, you'd want to hit the muscle group, you know, again within 72 to 96 hours. What's that? Four days, three or four days. And uh, I think you should be right. So yeah, that's it guys. Just don't leave it like two weeks between muscle groups because that's completely detrimental to progress and you don't want to do that. And that would be my advice. So until next time, have a great day, train hard, I hope I've made sense, and I'll talk to you guys next time, peace.